I developed habits lately I've been trying to break And them battles in my mind they still keep me up late So I see you sleeping on me when you should have been awake Hope you die in your sleep I'll start a fire at your wake I'ma see this through and I don't care how long it takes now Everything changed when I decided that I What's going on YouTube? You're back with the praise We're in Juniper Park today In today's video I'm going to be talking to you guys about The top three biggest mistakes I see when it comes to training and trying to cut Many people make these mistakes, myself included. It's called trial and error, right? Most people have to go through it and experience it from themselves to realize they're doing something wrong. But many times I see it, everyone goes through a cut and they end up looking the same as they did prior to them going into their bulking phase, right? They either cut right back down to the same weight or they cut back down and end up losing muscle mass that they worked really hard for over their bulking period. Remember guys, in order to cut, you have to be in a calorie deficit. Simply put, it means you're giving your body less energy than it requires for its daily activities. That's how you burn body fat and that's how you lose weight. Now remember, the goal of a cut should always be to burn body fat and to maintain as much muscle mass as possible. The muscle that you worked so hard to gain while you were eating in a surplus of calories. So like I said, this is gonna be my top three biggest mistakes I see when it comes to training and cutting. The first mistake I see people trying to make is trying to go for PRs. PRs mean personal records, right? Listen, like I said, when you're in a deficit or cutting, that means you're giving your body less energy than it's required to function throughout the day, right? That's how you burn the weight and that's how you lose the fat. Now you're not gonna be able to, now don't expect your body to be able to produce maximal effort and max intensity sets when you're feeding it less energy than it's used to. Everybody thinks, oh, I'm gonna be able to PR when I'm cutting still. Listen, maybe in the first initial weeks as your body's slowly adapting to the lower calorie intake, but as you get further and further into the cut and the calories get a little lower and lower, you cannot expect your body to perform the same way that it performed when it was in a surplus of calories. Right? Remember, when you have extra calories, it means you have extra energy. That's when the performance in the gyms and whatever workouts you're doing is really, really good, right? You have all that energy, you can recover faster, you can hit the set, you can put more volume in, right? So people trying to PR when they're in a deficit is the first mistake I see people trying to make. The main goal should always be to maintain as much strength as possible. It's gonna be inevitable that as the weeks go on, you're gonna have to lose a little bit of strength. It's just gonna happen. You can't always maintain all the strength that you built in a surplus unless you're on gear and things like that. So the first mistake I see people making is trying to PR. The second mistake when it comes to training and cutting that I see people making is trying to switch up the whole focus of their workout routine. This leads back to almost on point one when I said the goal should be to maintain as much muscle mass and, and strength as possible that you built when you were in a surplus of calories. So the first thing people always wanna do is let's start increasing the workload. They wanna start doing high intensity interval training type workouts, hit training where they're supersetting every workout, trying to keep the heart rate up and trying to burn more calories. Remember, the calories that are being burned should be coming from your diet, right? That's where the majority of the weight loss should come from. It should be in the deficit that you guys are creating from the food you're intaking. Your workout's primary focus should always be to maintain as much strength and muscle mass as possible. Like I said, you're not gonna be able to really build much muscle and build much strength in a deficit, but you can work on maintaining the strength and muscle that you work for, right? So going into exercises where you're increasing the volume dramatically, now you're increasing the volume, you're taking in lower calories, you're setting your body up to overtrain. You're increasing the cortisol levels, meaning your body's gonna be overstressed. If you're overstressed, your body's not gonna wanna burn fat. It's gonna wanna hold on to everything that it has, thinking it's in a fight or flight state, right? So remember, maintain the workout intensity that you worked. Maintaining the intensity that you were working when you were in a surplus is not gonna be as effective and it's not gonna be able to be sustainable, right? So you're gonna have to lower the overall intensity, meaning sets and reps, right? Lower the total volume of the workout and focus on heavy lifting, lower, longer break periods, and again, let the calories that you're eating do the majority of the work for you when it comes to losing the weight and the fat. And now the third mistake I see people making is trying to do too much cardio. And again, this plays off to point number two. Like I said, the high intensity interval training, it's cool to throw in maybe once in a blue moon, right? Just to maintain stamina and work on endurance, right? Because like I said, that's gonna increase the heart rate and it's gonna allow you to also get your work done faster. But again, it's gonna, you're gonna be in a lower energy state. So you're not gonna be able to lift heavy, as heavy weights, one, because the low energy, and now when you're supersetting, the weights are gonna dramatically have to drop off in weight, right? So like I said, that's not gonna be as productive as you want when it comes to maintaining the muscle and strength that you built. 
So now when it comes to cardio, everybody wants to seem to do cardio before the workout, right? Listen, you're already in a low enough energy state. If you start your workout with a cardio session before you get into your lifting, you're gonna be burning through the little glycogen stores and the little energy reserves that you have to get through a productive workout, right? So if you're gonna do cardio, I definitely recommend keeping it towards the end of the routine after you burn through the carbs and the glycogen stores during an effective workout, right? Put the work, put the calories that your body is taking in and let it go to work where you're working to maintain the muscle and strength that you worked on during the exercise training, right? Remember, training and exercise are different. Training, you have an intent, trying to maintain the, mu the most muscle in this sense, right? When you're cutting, the intent of the training should always be to maintain as much muscle and strength as possible. So the cardio, if you're gonna do it, keep it to after the workouts or limit it to even so. Remember, you wanna prioritize either muscle building or fat loss, right? So that comes the same thing when it comes to being a surplus, right? If you're telling your body to build muscle all the time and you're eating a lot of calories, but then you're doing a shit ton of cardio, your body's not gonna know, should I build the muscle or should I burn the fat, right? Same thing when it comes to being in a deficit. If you start doing more cardio than you do resistance training, your body's not gonna know. It's gonna think, am I trying to just lose all these burn all calories, burn my muscle, or do I wanna maintain as much muscle as possible and just try to burn fat? So keep the cardio to a minimum. I'd say have it 60, at least 60% training, 40% cardio for your total overall volume, maybe even 70, 30. Remember, as you go on in your diet, you're gonna have to slowly lower the calories more and more from your original starting point. So those are the top three biggest mistakes I see people making when trying to train and cut. Now throughout this video also, I'm gonna be showing you uh, some clips of my training from today. And as you guys know, I've been on a pull push legs routine this week it's a little different. I'm actually gonna be doing a photo shoot during this training. Oh my guy, Utopian Fit, I'm gonna throw him up in the description. You'll see me wearing his gear all throughout the workout. So like I was saying, I'll be throwing up. So today's workout's actually be an upper body day. So I'm doing pull, push, legs, upper, lower for the week. Hi, I'm filming. It's okay. So I'm doing a pull, push, legs, upper, lower split for the week today, this week. So it's gonna be a little different. Today's gonna be an upper body session. All right, guys, I hope this video gave you a little bit of insight of the three biggest training mistakes I see people making when trying to cut. And like I said, guys, I showed you my whole routine today. It was a full upper body session. We had shoulders, chest, and back. Volume wasn't too high. We took long rest periods. Again, really working on maintaining as much strength and muscle that we worked on during our bulk, right? So don't make the mistake of doing too much work. Don't do too much cardio. And don't expect to make PRs when you're on a cut. And remember guys, as you guys can see, I'm rocking my guy, Ariel. He has his own fitness company, Utopian Fit. There's gonna be a link in the description. All his merch is also gonna be available on his website. You guys can hit me up. I'll also send you to his also. So check out Utopian Fit. Like I said, link in the description. And like always guys, I appreciate the support. Like the video, it helps the algorithm. Share it with your friends and family. And like always guys, if you have a question, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you. Peace out, Born Naturals. They all love to talk, you know they do that shit the most Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close